Hey, good morning. Well, this is a little different, isn't it? Welcome to El Pacamade Cafe. For the foreseeable future, anything that's not DIY on my channel will be in the form of a modified podcast. Because let's face it, the Brendan Santo case has been resolved with his body having been recovered. And the Summer Wells case, there is not any news to report on the Summer Wells case that is new and current. And I am one of those people who likes to cite my sources and fact check myself and occasionally fact check other people when they put out exaggerated statements and half-truths and whatnot. So to just make it easier on me, we're going to sit and chat in the Alpaca Made Cafe. I am aware I'll have to adjust some audio levels to keep the rabble behind me from overtaking my information or our discussion, but that'll shake itself out in time. It's, it's pretty well tuned in and just a few adjustments will make it what it needs to be. There's one rumor that for the last 48 hours or 24 hours or however long it's been since the bullhorn gypsy got on her bullhorn and ranted and raved about refund checks. The first agency to get their hands in the Wells family tax refund high is the state of Tennessee. Because the boys are in state care, the refund will be debited to whatever amount the state of Tennessee Children and Family Services or whatever they call that department down there. If Don has kept up on his child support payments, then there should be no back arrearages. But we don't know. And so for those running around shrieking and shrying because Candace and Don filed their taxes as soon as they got their 1099s processed, like most responsible people do, you know, don't worry about it. It's their money. They worked for it. The state of Tennessee will intervene on behalf of the boys. Done deal. And incidentally, a social worker weighed in this morning on Chasing's channel. She only produced a little over a half an hour. I think she was having technical difficulties with the internet. I don't know. But a social worker confirmed that statement that I just made about the Department of Children and Family Services in Tennessee and the tax refunds. So let's not lose any sleep over it. Michelle, after dark, this morning did a really good broadcast on the fact-checking factor of disseminating information to the public and the public receiving it and doing their own due diligence and fact-checking, which, as Michelle pointed out, doesn't always happen. And you can tell by which creators people are subscribed to whether they actually do their own fact-checking or not without naming names and pointing out the obvious. Uh, there's been quite a bit of that lately. Nevertheless, go see both Chasing and Michelle After Dark. They get excellent shows this morning. And for you guys, that would be Thursday morning because I am taping this on Thursday for upload and airing on Friday. And I have about a minute and a half to say thank you very much for sitting through this different format for me. If I think that there are things that you would want to see, like video clips or pictures or something, I will pull out the reporter's notebook and we'll do a full production. Um, other than that, we'll be doing this modified podcast format, as I said previously, 
and that makes it easier on me because I can use audio clips if necessary and I don't have to go through all the machinations of a full video production. And so with that, I'm going to pay my bill and leave the Alpaca Made Cafe. Cafe. I want to thank you again for joining me. It's always appreciated when you leave a like and comments, really. I enjoy that. Until I see you again, God bless you, and I'll see you real soon.